Oklahoma's governor has just declared a state of emergency because of a fast-moving wildfire. Strong winds are fanning the flames, which killed one person and destroyed dozens of homes. As NBC's Jay Gray explains, the fire started this weekend when a controlled burn suddenly got out of control. The Oklahoma National Guard attacked the flames from the air. While on the ground, fire teams continue to push back against the blaze along the front lines. We're just going to utilize every resource we can and, and coordinate with everyone and do everything we can to protect our homes and certainly our families. Still, hot spots continue to flare up, fueled by temperatures close to 100 degrees, dried out trees, brush, and grass from an ongoing drought, and pushed by winds at times gusting to 40 miles an hour or more. It came in real fast. Uh, we weren't prepared for it to be this fast. The wildfires already scorched more than 4,000 acres, damaged or destroyed at least 20 homes, and claimed a life. I think it caught everybody off guard. Uh, even though we saw the smoke coming up before we could get back over here, I mean, it was on top of us. As many as 1,000 have evacuated, and 150 homes or more are still in the potential path of the flames. First and foremost, our goal right now is to stop the fire from going any further, to build those fire lines, to get our resources and equipment in place, to be ready to do whatever we need to do to help save communities. Communities on edge at the start of what most here expect will be a very long and dangerous wildfire season. Jay Gray, NBC News, Guthrie, Oklahoma.